Are you making these vector mistakes? I see beginners and even some pros making these mistakes all the time. Welcome to day 15 of learning digital art. So far in this series, we have covered drawing basics, digital art techniques, symmetrical portrait process, steps to creating a digital illustration, adding shadows and highlights, creating grainy textures in illustrations, simple color rules, custom brushes in Adobe Illustrator, drawing a vector character without a sketch, simplifying characters with basic shapes, avatar design process, and making patterns. We have covered the essential steps of vector illustrations. Well, after learning all these techniques, you might still be making some common vector mistakes. But don't worry, in this video, you will learn the most common mistakes beginners make and how to fix them for professional vector art. So let's get started. Mistake number one, using too many anchor points. Many beginners think that more anchor points mean more control, but actually too many points create uneven lines and make your file heavy. It also become harder to edit and adjust curves later. So how to fix it? So use the pen tool, place anchor points only where the curves change directions. This helps refine uneven curves. Mistake number two, not converting strokes to shapes. Many beginners leave strokes unexpanded in illustration. The problem is when you resize or export the stroke thickness doesn't scale properly and can look inconsistent. So how to fix it? Convert strokes to shapes. Go to object, expand appearance to make them editable vector shapes. This ensures strokes remain consistent when resized. Mistake number three, ignoring proper layer organization. So a messy layers panel makes your file hard to navigate, edit and adjust later. If you send a project to a client or a team, they will struggle to find a specific elements. So how to fix it? Name your layers properly. Instead of layer 1, layer 2, use a hand, head, color, shadow, etc. Mistake number 4. Making your art look flat. So new illustrator often ignore lighting and shading, making the art look flat. How to fix it? Add lighting and shadow to your artwork. Shadows create depth and realism. Understanding light source make your art more dynamic and professional. Mistake number 5 overuse too many colors many new illustrators use too many bright or clashing colors making their designs look overwhelming so how to fix it use color theory complementary analogous colors start with three to five color max and expand from there you can use uh, online palette generators like coolers and adobe colors mistake number six Many beginners rely on tracing because it seems like a quick way to improve. However, tracing doesn't teach you how to construct drawing from a scratch. It only helps you copy outlines. So what to do? References help with structure, poses and proportions by showing how objects and bodies are built. So this makes your drawing more accurate and natural. If you are using multiple references instead of copying one image, helps you create unique illustration. And that's it. The six biggest mistakes to avoid in vector illustration. Hit like if you found this useful and don't forget to subscribe for more illustrator tips. Thanks for watching.